so many people jumping ship, going from network to network. Guess what we do? Come back to the same network. Man, they ain't doing it like we doing it, man. They teaming up. Oh, man. Guess where I'm going? Guess who I'm going to Man, who give a damn? I'm going to go same, do that same whole ass shit you were doing on the last network. But here at Broken Play, as you see, we got a new desk. Oh, man. We got some new merch coming out. And we got that same old flavor that people have been wanting to hear. College football back. Oh, man. Shout out to boy Prime Time, Coach Prime. They say in Colorado, the hookah business is on the rise. <laughs> Hookahs, vapes, vape pens. Women are going out there to Colorado now. <laughs> after one game. So many box Chevys have been imported to Colorado after one game. If Coach Prime ain't doing that, who else could do that? Man, I'm telling you, TCU, now look, TCU was supposed to win by 21 points if you were watching the spread. Yeah. Supposed to win by 21 points. After that first three and out, and Colorado drove down and scored, I said they not going to cover that 21, but TCU probably will pull it off. Second half, when Colorado came out and scored, I said, oh, they going to beat these boys. Man. Bro, they, <laughs> they just were ready. Yeah. The boy Travis Hunter for Florida State. No, hold up. What's his name? For Florida State. The Florida State quarterback. He's Jordan Travis, I think. Travis. Travis Hunter? Travis Hunter, Jordan Travis. Both of them. Yeah. Nigga, get ready. Be in New York. Your nigga's in a battle for the Heisman. Man. Man, the boy played 100 snaps. Man, Little League and high school players don't even do that no more. They breaking all the Colorado program records. All of them. Bruh, his son threw for 500 yards. 81 completion percentage. No interceptions. <laughs> they said, oh, yeah, he was playing like that. And when he was playing, they wanted, they said HBCU. They wanted to say he was playing like that when he was playing at them nigga schools. Yeah. <laughs> I saw how they said it. Yeah. He left them nigga schools and came and did it the first week. Man. Highest in the game in the Colorado program here. Oh, man. All, you know all the white quarterbacks that came through Colorado? It took Deion Sanders' son. Yeah. First game. Out the gate. Remarkable. I love it. I love it. But I don't want to jump ahead and just say this. But Colorado finna start getting a lot of games on TV. As they should. Because that's, who, that's who we want to see. Because Ohio State, I saw them play Indiana, man. They ain't talking about nothing. Yeah, they was dis they, that was a disappointing match. Man, well. LSU got upset. I wouldn't say it was upset by Florida State. I felt like it shouldn't have been. Because, you know, it was a number eight team against a number five team. Yeah, it was, it was supposed to be a better matchup than that. They, them boys got it blown start, out. It started off good, but then in the second half... That second half, I don't know what Florida happened. Florida State shot out. That third quarter, for sure. Yeah. Man, I don't That's know. That's second half, Dad. Jaden Daniels. <laughs> Jaden Daniels did what he was supposed to. I don't yeah, know. now, I ain't gonna say. I will say that. He did. But LSU defense got tired. That can't happen, man. Yeah, you are right. But it's gonna happen. <laughs> Georgia, the number one team, they ain't really play nobody. Um, not yet, but... They played Middle Tennessee. I'm not convinced on that quarterback. I like Georgia. I root for Georgia. Mm -hmm. Man, it's too many good black quarterbacks. Stop putting them sorry-ass white boys behind that damn offensive line. <laughs> you got the good running guy. Bruh, it's 2023. Yeah. They be having damn punters <laughs> playing quarterback. Them motherfuckers not going to do nothing in the league. They they not gonna do nothing in the league, but they this they 18th straight. Whatever they doing, it's working. Who? 18th straight? What? When? From last season. Yeah, because the quarterback gone. They had the they had a top tier defense, Dad. Yeah. You starting to research like them niggas on TV, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie Dom. This ain't 18th straight, bro. None of that matters. 
We don't want to see no slow-ass quarterback. Bro, we just started talking about Colorado. Did you see Sanders back there moving? And yeah. You talking about Jaden Daniels moving? Yeah. I don't want to see no... Man, that slow-ass <laughs> quarterback, no. Georgia, Kirby Smart, get us a black quarterback who will move around <laughs> in a dance when he's going. I want a nigga to, you know what I mean, do something. Yeah, Yo, like I've used school. Don't get dropped, man. Come on. Make it exciting. What you doing? Get your ass up and win some money, man. Shout out to Broken Play. This your boy, Nav Green. And I got something for you. Look, we matching whatever you put up. If you put up $100, we're going to match that $100 when you use the app and use the code Broken Play. Shout out to Broken Play. You put Broken Play in the prize picks app. And when you use that, they're going to give you whatever you put up. So if you put up $39, they're going to match your $39. If you put up $74, they're going to match your $74. Whatever you got to spell, they going to match it. So shout out to you and shout out to us for giving back, man. Shout out Broken Play, man. It's available in over 30 states. 31 to be exact. Because whatever state you in, if you can't, you know somebody in another state. Be family. Let's get it. Go ahead over there to Prize Pick. Tell them we sent you. Let's get this money together, man. Broken play. Shout out to Dom, man. Thanks. Dom got me watching WNBA. <laughs> more than I, more than I used to, and shout out to Prize Picks as well. WNBA is exciting. A lot of niggas been sleeping on WNBA, and I was one of them. Yeah. Man, them girls, Aja Wilson for the Aces, Ooh, she be hooping her ass off. Hooping. I like Breonna Stewart, too, uh, in New York, Liberty. Man, you know who been off a, a lot lately, though? Who? Jewel Lloyd uh, with Seattle. Yeah. She started off strong. She been on. Uh, I like Howard, who played for the Dream, Atlanta Dream. Yeah, I like Alicia Gray. But WNBA, it's about to end. I think the Aces should win. It'll be Aces or either Liberty. I don't see nobody being, being them. But far as, I'm just glad the NFL season is back. I'm letting you know right now. People talking about something. Watch for Detroit to upset Kansas City. I don't know what the hell Detroit they talking about. <laughs> and I don't know what they going to do in that game. I'm thinking it's got to be some violent that's going to happen. Because if you think you're going to beat Pat Mahomes straight up. Crazy. Man, stay smoking crack, man. Pat Mahomes just won a Super Bowl. You think he finna lose the first game to the Detroit Lions? Jared Goff at quarterback? I don't give a damn how good Detroit Lions defense is. Nigga, y'all must be bringing Barry Sanders back. Man, they got to say what they got to say to get them views, man. I don't give a damn. You got to be realistic. <laughs> yeah. Bro, Pat Mahomes is like that. <laughs> Facts. Aaron Rodgers. Uh -oh. He got Dalvin Cook over there with him. Uh-oh. Do we see the Jets making the playoffs? For sure. You say easily, don't? For sure. Bro, I think you, could, you can't say easily. They in the division with the Miami Dolphins. And the Buffalo Bills. Let's not forget the Buffalo Bills is still there. Yeah, that's still they still playoffs though. You said it. Man. I don't round week 13. I don't want y'all looking like, man, you were right. Man, you seen them boys listening in the sexy red, they locked in. <laughs> <laughs> Ski yeah. Yeah. Hey, man, that boy <laughs> sauce going. Hey. <laughs> Bro, I'ma tell y'all this. Now, music play a lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot to do with sports. Yeah. When you see the team going, you always wonder, like, what they getting hyped up to? But when I seen them playing that sexy red and they were so, like, just, just so chill with it. Yeah. I said, they going to make a run. Aaron Rodgers was talking shit. He was like, y'all don't, don't know nothing about this. Started dancing. Bro, <laughs> Aaron Rodgers like sexy red? Yeah. See, that's what I'm trying to tell you. That's when you know your quarterback is focused. Thanks. By what he listened to. Because I know Lamar listened to Kodak Black, Jack Boy, all that. He listened to that. We expect that. But when you saw Aaron Rodgers say, Ski, yeah. 
<laughs> oh, man. Nigga, that's going to be a play call. <laughs> they ain't even going to know what's happening. You just going to see two receivers go that way. Yeah. He going to have a tight end in motion. Ski, yeah. Touchdown. Because that going to throw the defense off. Because when you hear ski, yeah, you looking for the hole. That was Sexy Red told them to look for. But can the Chiefs do it again? That's the question. We talking about Aaron Rodgers. And the reason why I brought that up, because I only see two or three teams that could stand in their way in the AFC. Oh. Like being, like just being realistic. I would say the Bills. Because the Bills, what? They was in the AFC championship with them. Bills going to be there. Yeah, Josh Allen ain't going to play But that. Josh Allen, I know he going to lay down every... He going to do exactly what he going to do. To get there. He, yeah. You got the Bengals. You, you putting the Bengals in there, right? Yeah, for, yeah hell yeah. And I guess we got to put the Jets. I got to see the Jets play a couple games before I just automatically. Yeah, you got to see how the season about to play. And I do first. like the Dolphins. It's something about the Dolphins I just like, bro. Yeah. I hate Jalen Ramsey went down with that injury, man. We uh seeing a speedy recovery his way. But who are some teams that we not expecting in the NFL to do something this year? Broncos. Bro, I think I done seen enough of Russell Wilson. <laughs> to say this with the utmo utmost respect. That boy has a garbage bastard. <laughs> oh, man. Russell Wilson is a garbage bastard. He's a wonderful stepdad. I think that's <laughs> the best stepdad I done seen since I read the Bible. <laughs> and Joseph took care of Jesus. <laughs> but as far as that nigga playing quarterback, bro, he ain't got it no more. He, bro, it, everybody don't get to play as long as Tom Brady played, as long as Aaron Rodgers played. Like, everybody, they, I think Russell Wilson used a lot of his legs, you know, when he was, you know, scrambling and stuff like that. He done, he done did enough. But I do like the Broncos because of that defense. That defense, that defense. But I know the thing about Sean Payton, he'll bench that motherfucker. <laughs> you come out there... Let him play like he played last year. You gonna think that nigga is an assistant coach. <laughs> Cause he gonna be sitting his ass right over there by his goddamn coach. Falcons. Think the Falcons gonna do something? You think the Falcons gonna do something? They in an easy division. They should. Like, if they don't, it'll just show like they ain't gonna be shit. <laughs> Cause the Panthers is garbage. Panthers garbage. The Saints, I ain't gonna, I can't count the Saints out. They never garbage. They boy, the Saints always gonna be there. Now yeah. Tampa Bay, I think they don't they on the decline. Who gonna be that quarterback this year? Man, Baker Mayfield, that bastard, keep a job. <laughs> he almost is a garbage bastard. He the only close. reason I ain't gonna call him a garbage bastard, cause that nigga keep a job. I don't know what he's saying in them interviews. Some niggas just know how to talk in interviews. He might be watching, what, what happened? I see you threw an interception. Well, yeah, that was because the receiver read the wrong coverage. Yeah, he entertaining. Yeah, so it might be like, oh, okay, that wasn't your fault, Baker. <laughs> you remember when Baker first got to Cleveland? Yeah. The nigga was dancing right. and all that? They thought that nigga was like that. Yeah. I knew he wasn't going to be like that because he went on beat. <laughs> but Aaron Rodgers was on beat when he did that ski yee. My boy Marcel, he in Dubai partying right now. We miss Marcel, man. Thanks. Cause I keep looking at you, Thad. I'm like, you ain't Marcel, man. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, man. And hey, you know how you got a backup quarterback? You gotta get used to the nigga yeah, that's and shit. All right. yeah. Like you, yeah, you just. <laughs> it's a second string. You yeah, know, yeah, you a second string. I'm, it's like I'm overthrowing it, but it's just you ain't getting there <laughs> out, out the break quick enough. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> man. The nigga. Speaking of. What's happening? Speaking of niggas not knowing what they want to do in life, Errol Spence, why in the hell would you want to rematch with Terrence Bud Crawford? And as I look at these gloves that Bud signed, not Terrence Bud, the nigga Bud who stay on Gresham. <laughs> Spence, sometimes you just got to know. I have no business fucking with this man. Bro, Bud 
if you watched every interview and every time he talked, he was so confident. He was like, why do y'all even think this man got a chance with me? <laughs> he went getting, you know when I know somebody gonna beat the shit out of somebody? Huh. Or, or like when it's no matchup, when they not even get mad when they talking. <laughs> they don't even scream or like do a frown or nothing. They were like, yeah, it should be a good match, but like, it shouldn't be. He talking calm and collect, bro. Yeah. I don't have to, I don't have to spice this up. This this cakewalk. Yeah, he said he trained hard for the fight, man, in his show. So that's that's where it came from. Bro, I think he had about 30 more levels to go. He probably was mad. I will say this. He though. ain't have to train that hard. Errol Spence, he still wasn't ready to go down. So he wanna keep fighting, like. Bro, that was them drugs. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> That was drugs keeping him up, bro. That nigga was on hydrocodone. <laughs> Cause a couple of them hits, he wanted to go down. His eyes was really red before the fight started. Oh yeah. He had smoked him a little blunt. <laughs> but look, during that fight, this was in July. We was in Houston. Everybody out there going. One thing about Texas, Texas support Texas. So everybody saying, no, nah, Spence got it. Spence got it. I'm telling them like, bro, bud different. And Bud showed that, man. I hate that for... But I do want to see some more good fights, though. Yeah. But that ain't one I want to see. <laughs> do you think it was a good fight? What? <laughs> Hell no. And if I would have had to pay for it, I would have been mad as a motherfucker. Good thing we got <clears throat> good people that make things happen. <laughs> <laughs> man, we ain't get to talk about this because this this how... We left out on season one on the high. We hit on prize picks. We hit on prize picks, bro. 1942. Bro, bro I'm, I'm talking about it, and I, I didn't want to do it on episode one because we just getting back. It, bro, there's no lie. Every city I've been going to since we've been touring, everybody keep asking about broken play. Oh, man. We all at Los meet and greet. Yeah. That nigga, that's all he could hear. When broken play, when broke. I know it was getting to him. <laughs> that nigga told me to move down a little bit. <laughs> it was a whole line of people asking about broken play. And bro, I just want them to say, broken play started with the team, man. So clap it up for the team getting us back here. Man, man just think about it. They had a million jokes about our desk. Most niggas, they'll get offended. What we do? Go get another desk. Now we can see over this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> we gave that hospital back they damn dick. <laughs> now they could they now they could attend to them COVID patients. They been looking to attend to. It was a big line. They ain't know what desk to go to because we had to borrow the desk. Now we got our own desk. Yeah. So sometimes you gotta borrow things till you had the money to have your own stuff. We had that ugly wall. Everybody called our wall ugly. They were like, I love the show, but the paint ugly. You know how distracting they got to be if you love a show and you worry about the paint? Nigga going to say something about that brick wall? It ain't real. <laughs> but they can't tell. They can't tell. And I'm just happy that we back, man. Yeah. We back. Broken play is here to stay. Hey, and we ain't going nowhere ever again, Thad. Yeah. So look, when we get back, we got, we got a guess, you know. <clears throat> Let me say this. ESPN, <laughs> I heard that fuck shit y'all tried to do. No, man, we got to talk about it, that because I know it's a clause in the contract. I wasn't supposed to bring it up. <laughs> These niggas tried to cease and desist broken play. We was in court, and y'all been asking. <laughs> Amy, I might get fined for telling what happened. These niggas tried to buy the show out. <laughs> they said, what would it take? I got threw out of court because I said, fuck, nigga, you ain't got enough money. <laughs> and with that being said, we'll be right back on Broken Play. <laughs> Let's get into it, man. Highlights and lowlights. 
I'm going to start off. We can't have no highlights without going to Colorado. Bro, I think we got to take a team outing trip. Just, cause I just know it's going to be so, man. They finna have so many musical artists out there just going out there to watch Prime and the boys get ready. Man, coming out. I can see Key Glock up there. Yeah. Who else you can see up there, man? Shit. Uh, I can see Duke Deuce going up there. Duke Deuce? Yeah. Dance, in the dance? Oh, up. man. Yeah. Bro, Sanders, this this reason why. Shador Sanders. I said it right. Yeah. This the reason why he gets a highlight, bro. And I, I think you got to be fair in the assessment. Nobody saw him doing that. I don't even think his damn daddy saw him doing that. <laughs> and the reason why I say that, bro, 500 yards? Yo, first, don't get me wrong, he probably would have, you know, as the season went. Nigga, this the first game. He was just playing Alabama State and Alabama A&M. Man. In Prairie View, all. Uh, all been in state. He playing schools like that. You go straight to playing TCU, who was just in a championship. I don't give a damn who they lost. You still put up 500 yards on people who was recruited. So show him love and give him that love. He get a highlight. Yep. Hum. Man, the boy played DB like he the damn receiver. Did you see him when he jumped that ball when they was in the red zone when TCU was finna score? Like that. <laughs> I said, damn. Home like that. When you play 110 snaps, and I know, I don't know how his, you know how his family is living right now, but I know they just watching smiling. Because <laughs> they got probably seven more months. <laughs> seven more months. Before they life change. Before they life change. Boy, you talking about Colorado? Oh, man, they might buy that city. What what city is Colorado in? Because I don't think it's in Denver. Huh? How far that is from Denver? 40, 40 minutes. And the reason why I asked that, Russell Wilson, take your ass over there. <laughs> you need to sit down with Coach Prime. Yeah. Because, nigga, you losing it. For a low light, I got to get at the LSU. Hell yeah, they deserve it. LSU get a low light and Clemson get a uh, low light. Clemson definitely get a low light. You let you let that quarterback go. He go to Oregon State. They let him. They let him leave. He go to Oregon State. He ball out. The nigga. I don't know who they got playing quarterback right now. What name? K Club. Whoever you is, nigga. You is a garbage bastard. I sat there because it was the only game we could watch last night. I sat there and watched that game. And, bro, that was the worst 60 minutes of watching a garbage bastard I ever seen. Because prize picks had him to, to have 266 yards. So I picked it. Like, yeah, he should throw. They playing Duke. Yeah. The bastard had 180 yards. <laughs> so that lets you know I did not hit. On that sheet. No, nah, I had him for the under, though. I hit. You had him for the under? I had him for the under, and I had Jaden Daniels, Jaden Daniels for the over. So I hit some. I got some money. Well, it's all about you, huh? No, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> this is for the team. No, nah, nigga, we ain't nobody. No, nah, the money that we just got from my account, this is what we're going to use for prize picks today. <laughs> now, now you want to clean it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we going to do, man. <laughs> Bro, we wouldn't even do that. <laughs> You just start talking so much, like, oh, shit, I'm told. <laughs> man. Marcel say he go, uh, what, what he over there doing in Dubai, though? Man, Marcel, don't let us find out you over there pissing on bitches, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, USA, they a low light. <laughs> uh, they lost to Lithuania. And I USA kinda... might be a low light, but I'm going to tell you who not. Who? That motherfucking <laughs> Ant-Man. Ant-Man! He ain't got nothing to do with how the team playing. <laughs> Bro, did you hear when the coach said uh, Dwayne Wayne came off the bench with Kobe yeah. playing? They said, we ain't got no Kobe. Yeah. And I like that. Man, that's Atlanta. <laughs> Bro, you see, it's them type of players that get you pumped back up that, like, that make you like sports again. Nigga, hey, I ain't no nigga who finna be sitting over here on... For who? 
They who, got... who did he want him to come? Who did he want him to sit sit down for? What's um New York point guard? Who? Josh Hart. No, I, I don't. It couldn't have been hey, Josh man. Hart. Dumb, what's you what's being New funny. York point guard name? But now Listen, they... hold up. <laughs> Them the only niggas who want to play for the <laughs> for the country. Yeah, we ain't we ain't got no centers. That's oh, that oh they just out there. Okay, oh, okay, okay. And then and then a lot of the five niggas is foreign too. We ain't got no real centers that's from like USA. Damn, we don't. Yeah, and Damn. Joel and B he count because he he's the U.S. citizen. Yeah, and he might Joel? Be. Yeah. He can play for France? Or the U.S. Damn. Well, nigga play for the U.S.A. Yeah. Speaking of, uh, did you see James Harden? Did y'all see when he's called the nigga uh, Maury a liar? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's fast. <laughs> Bruh. I don't care what they say about James Harden. That nigga live like a real street nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Because that question ain't even had nothing to do with it. They were like, do you say, I never play for that lying fat motherfucker. Like, damn, I thought he was finna start to hit him up. He's speaking. This track. <laughs> he's speaking to everybody in China, too. Bro, he's, man, they don't, even, they don't even understand English like that, James Hart. You talking to the wrong niggas. They like, James Hart, how, how would this season go? That nigga said, fuck Daryl Moore. They said, huh? Trippy, man. You know, they don't know how to announce it. Yeah, huh? Them, <laughs> well, they were confused the hell over there. They were like, I thought this was a, 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 a give back. They had that nigga look like he was he was doing the ad, but he just kept talking about, bruh, like he was saying the same thing over and over again. But look, tell me this. What do y'all see James Harden going, though? Right there. He's staying right where he at. Bruh, that's going to be crazy. That's going to be crazy. They trying to work something out with the Clippers, but I don't see it. I don't see it happening. It's like everywhere he go, huh? And they go, Daryl Moore gonna want a whole lot in return. You know what I'm saying? You see what he did for Ben? He got him for Ben. <laughs> he did. <laughs> yeah. He got over on that Ben contract. So who do you who do you see winning this year then, Dom? The yeah. One of the greatest niggas we ever seen play. Y'all forgot about Denver. Jokic? Denver Nuggets. They going <laughs> right we, back. Have we forgot about the motherfucking Joker? I don't know how. See, bro, now it took me a long time to get on that bandwagon. Y'all niggas slipping already. I think the Lakers. I think the Lakers fly. Who they got? They same team. They got, and they got Gabe Vincent. They got uh, Terrence Williams. They got all them niggas. They bench crew. They they trying to get JaVale McGee too. Now that's who I want. They need. Oh, they already signed for him? Fuck. So you know, you you count the Warriors out. Yeah. Okay. Desperate move. Bro. <laughs> and he's so confused. He don't think he's coming off the bench. <laughs> I fuck with CP3 so heavy. Yeah. I think he's a wonderful nigga. <laughs> but nigga, me and you both. No goddamn well, ain't nobody over there. <laughs> CB3, <laughs> nigga, you need to be trying to get over here on this goddamn. <laughs> yeah, what they finna play? CP, Steph, uh, Clay, Draymond. First of all, Higgins, first of all, CP3 gonna try to slow them down. Of course. So he you is. need to. I don't even want to. Pick and roll, elbow jumper. Bro, it's 2023. Ain't no go get in your spot. Nigga, we running, man. Bring your old ass on. That's how they gonna talk to him. Cause these young niggas don't care how they talk. How many games did Draymond chop him off? Shit. Third game. <laughs> the practice before the game. He probably already did. He probably, <laughs> he probably did in a text message. Yeah. Don't come over here with don't that bitch ass shit. Don't come over here with that shit, man. <laughs> starring shit. Yeah. Where he was... probably starring shit in the group chat already. Good morning, there. Hey, nigga, don't come over here with that shit. Don't tell me good morning, nigga. <laughs> I like, uh, I don't think they're going to win it, but I like the Mavericks. I think the Mavericks are going to be good. Mm. 
Who on the East? Who on the East? On the East, Bucks. Y'all got Bucks. If Giannis healthy, it's, it's automatic. I think Celtics gonna be up there again still. First week, though. Man, this... So did you see the 49ers? I feel like this a low light. For the 49ers to trade Trey Lance yeah. to the Cowboys. Yeah. And the Cowboys, y'all just get any damn body. <laughs> what the hell y'all gonna do with Trey Lance? Trey, unless he finna come play receiver. You just picking niggas up. You know how niggas just ride around the neighborhood picking up shit off the street? That's what the Cowboys are doing. Ain't no damn way. That shit's stupid. One other highlight, though, is um, Who? the tennis player, uh, Coco Golf. She doing her thing. Shout out to her. I ain't seen that. <laughs> <laughs> we got to we gotta reach her. Come yeah, on. Yeah, all right. Do your thing, Coco. <laughs> I'm going to check you out. <laughs> what she do? Man, she just winning. She like 14 and 1. She young. She represented uh, USA and she black. What so. part? Was, was she from like... She from uh, Florida. What part? What part of Florida? Yeah. Um, Delray Beach. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, Coco, we, we, we got you locked in. Hit us if you want to do an interview. Um, when we come back, we got a real betting legend. And when I say a betting legend, like, he really breaks it down and knows certain stuff. So we brought him in to help with the pitch. Because last year would not go like that again. We can't have a repeat. No. Nigga, we went one and nine. As a team, yeah. As a team. Oh, you know. <laughs> Nigga, <laughs> definitely know as a team. <laughs> Nigga, my record was way better than that. <laughs> so we're going to bring him in to help us with some, like, we need sometimes, it ain't just about going off your heart and off of what you, being, because a lot of us be biased when we take picks. So he know the numbers and he do the numbers. So we're going to bring him in to help our fans who love broken play. And shout out to all the women who love broken play. It's bigger than just sports. Women are sitting down with they niggas watching Broken Play. Nigga ain't even got to go in the other room and watch Broken Play because the old lady like Broken Play too. It's already on. Oh, <laughs> nigga. It's like Netflix and chill for him. <laughs> she rubbing on that nigga the whole time I'm sitting up there talking. Not, I, well, I, I probably worded that wrong. <laughs> But the fact is, she in the mood because he enjoying himself and she enjoying herself. Yeah. And we're going to keep this shit coming so they can keep coming. And we'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> And just like that, we're back. This, this free game, we had to give back to the, you know, to the loyal, loyal, broken play people that's, you can't hear what? Yeah, just put it up. Nigga, just say it out loud. Don't interrupt the shit, man. <laughs> he don't want this shit to win. Just like I was saying, we wanted to give back. To the niggas who've been supporting this shit for so long. Yeah. We brought in Aristotle. What happened? Hey, hold up, yeah. bro. I feel like yeah. he messed up your introduction. What you got to give Aristotle, bro? Man, who care about the damn mic, man? Oh, man. <laughs> see what I'm talking about, bro? That's why we can't win. That's why I had to bring you in. Yeah, Look, you see sure. what type of niggas we got around. <laughs> so we brought you in to help us with this free game. Yeah, for sure. So who... So... Let's talk about college. How, how did you, how, how was last week for you? Travis Hunter was very impressed how Buddy was able to play both sides. He, yeah. he looked better than what Dion was. Nigga. Yeah, that age. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, we need niggas like you to come talking that stupid shit. But, but, but like, but, but it's always, <laughs> it's always like, I'm talking about like, as far as being able to play both positions. He played and, and wide be receiver yeah, better okay. than what Dion would have played. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know about cornerback yet, but wide receiver for sure. Now, now I saw him playing cornerback in that he first almost game. He two picks. Bro, did you see how he was reading and, like, jumping them snaps like he was the receiver? Yeah. So what I be looking at, so right now, they got Shadur Sanders. So mm -hmm. you know he threw for what, 500 on? Yeah, 510, something like that. They got him to throw for 297 yards against Nebraska. I'd be a fool not to take that. Yeah, for sure. 297? 
He might, he might do a 350 on them boys. Easily. And, I, and the reason why I say that, because I'm just thinking about a Nebraska team, how I view them. They ain't got the Slow QB talent. Slow-ass white linebackers. For sure. Slow-ass white linebackers. They gonna have two athletes at DB. That's it. And none of them niggas could handle Travis Hunter. It was like a play Colorado was like third and 12. That nigga sounded just threw it up to Travis Hunter. That nigga mm, snagged it. And he almost had a touchdown. He almost had he, he two did touchdowns. A lot. He could have did a lot. He, the nigga tied. <laughs> They need that nigga gonna have a Gatorade commercial by week three. You saw uh, Duke just upset Clemson. That was a upset. I didn't see that coming. Whoa. You had that? Nah, I ain't had that. I'm glad I didn't bet on that game. So, uh, Aristotle, well, what you had? Because I don't brought you here to help us, nigga. <laughs> I don't brought you here. And it's not like you got damn being worse than me. Right. <laughs> right. Nah. But NFL, man. I know you got NFL down. Pat. Nah, I like college. College, I would be able to predict faster than the NFL. The NFL seems kind of like it could be, it could go either way a lot of times in the NFL. Sometimes them niggas don't give a damn. That too. You get if too you much know money. you're going to the playoffs, you'd be like, man, I'm, I'm chill that game. I'm going to let Buddy run the ball this game. Yeah. That's how they be. Yeah. College but I didn't see better. that. I didn't see that coming. I do like the Oregon State. Uh, quarterback, because you know he played at Clemson. Dude, DJ Oogly Lala. Yeah, I can yeah, never yeah, say that yeah. nigga name. Yeah. But he played at Clemson last yeah. year. He went to Oregon State. He played pretty good last year. So, what you got this app that you help? What is an app or a uh, program? So, we got a uh, program. It's on the Discord app. Uh -huh. And we have like the top analysts uh, picking plays. They do it for prize picks as well. They also uh, educate. How you them. talking? Yep. They also educate you on sports betting. So when you first come in and they have a, a person, well, we have a person who will literally tell them, like, everything to do. They'll be like, hey, here's how you sports bet. Here's the training you need to go to. Like, if they need help, we have an admin in there to help them. And we give them plays, like, plays all day. And we have about an 80% win rate That's on great. both stocks and options, plus 80% plus. So, so tell me this, is it a monthly, like it's a, a monthly uh program? Yeah, for twenty dollars to uh for a trial, for a one week trial, just so people can can try it. Yeah. So how much it is a month? Fifty five. That's good. And eighty percent? Yeah, we don't play. But we what we wanted to do was give everybody an opportunity. We believe in the more we believe in the more thing instead of, you know, I be, I believe in having lots of people for less than Facts. A few people for you know for a mm -hmm. lot, if that makes sense. No, that definitely makes sense. So what's what's something like that when you say that? Like what's something that y'all look into? Like not just college, NFL, everything, tennis. Oh shit! Um, what you boxing. know about Coco? I don't even know what Coco is. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what that is. Man, I thought you said she been on fine and all this shit. <laughs> Yeah, bro, you came at the right time, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he just lied to me, bro. We lost our research person. He in Dubai right now, so oh, yeah. I've been having to listen to the shit he say. No. <laughs> yeah, so he tell me some new shit every time, and I went for it. My bad for interrupting you, but nah, anyway, you tennis, what else, bro? Oh, nah, man, like, it's it's just a great program. Right. Like, and it's a network. We teach stocks and sports betting because we believe those are the two ways that you can make fast money. So people literally believe in fast money. Yeah. But it's about a system, though. You know, like, we, we trade stocks and we do sports. So we do stocks in the morning and sports betting at night. So tell me what the sports betting. Do y'all, like, because this is how I look at sometimes either you betting against Vegas or you betting with Vegas. Mm-hmm. So sometimes I look, I see, you know, like you could tell when the spread going up, that means a lot of people betting against Vegas, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, or something like that. So when do you look at, the, do, do they look at those type of numbers, like look at the lines and stuff like that? We do, and we also do, uh, like, props betting where, like, we're focused on, the like, we'll, we'll play on the players, like, attributes, like the steals they get, the blocks, because mm. that makes the quick money. So we'll parlay those sometimes. And well, a lot of times we make money like that too. That's the easiest thing we do when it comes to uh, basketball. But we have different strategies for when it comes different to sports. Okay, you get what I'm saying. So when it comes to prize picks, how you looking at football this year? 
So when it comes to prize picks, like, we pretty much... Football, from what I've seen, because the season just started, so right. I got to see uh, how my analysts are going to strategize. But so far, they they doing that again. We betting on props still, like what yard is this person going to get? Uh, like, let's just say this person is hot on sacks. We might pick, you know what I'm saying, for them to get certain sacks. But we also use, we use prize picks too. We love prize picks. We use uh, Bovada and prize picks. Those gotcha. are the two types. So I was noticing with the USC quarterback, uh... Caleb Williams, mm -hmm. he been a lot. Uh, it's been two weeks, and he got over the yards he was supposed to get. Like, he averaged over. Oh, yeah, uh, Caleb Williams. Yeah, so he been. Heisman winner. Yeah, you think he a Heisman winner? He won it last year. Damn, and came back? <laughs> <laughs> you would have went to the NFL, huh? Nigga, what? <laughs> no questions asked. He a lot though. He a, he's a yeah. Top so five he done pick. got over, yeah. He done got over the. But I think yards. what it is, you got to be three years to el eligible. This man won a Heisman sophomore year, or was that his freshman year? Nah, it <laughs> wasn't his freshman. It wasn't his freshman. Sophomore. He a sophomore. Okay. So sophomore. he a junior now. God yeah. damn, boy. Shit. He don't play. I see. You know what a thing I about I wanted me? Georgia to get him so bad out of high school. And I was just talking about Georgia, bro. I don't know why they get punters and place kickers to play quarterback. How what you call it, Carson Beck? Man, Carson Beck ain't shit. He's a yeah. garbage bastard. Yeah, I don't think I don't think he really that nice. You know, Arizona, this is why I know he not nice. The nigga lost his job and still stayed there. Nigga, nobody else wanted you. No. Carson Beck been there. He ain't no new nigga, is he dumb? Nah, he, yeah, this is like his senior year, ain't it? Yeah. Nigga, if you stay out and sit behind a nigga three years, you know nobody else wants you. Nobody else ain't asked about you. They got a whole portal where niggas could leave and go other places and play immediately. He tried to do that. They had that nigga finna play at DeVry. <laughs> Georgia ain't no damn reason why you. So you think they should put in Brock Vandergriff? Yes, I think so too. That boy, he, he. Bro, you need a mobile quarterback, yeah. especially in the SEC. You got defensive linemen. Yeah. So is it a way we could put? Because I know I'm finna goddamn. I'm inquiring about because I love. I can't watch games no more without having something on it. Because mm. then the shit don't mean nothing to me. I don't give a damn how good the game is. People screaming and shit like that. I I gotta have something on the game. Right. So I'm a I'm gonna find out about it because we need it. Cause every week we get on prize picks and we do our thing. Well, we try. <laughs> I know a guy who'll get you like damn near a 90% win, right? His name Marley. He an analyst in my chat. Like Buddy is cold. I literally just uh moved him down here. Mm -hmm. I paid for it just for him to come down here. Like I was like, bro, you got to get from D.C. and come down to the A because the A needs you. Like, the A Damn. needs somebody who, like, he's a... He, he calls himself parlay guy because, like, he's just dope at parlays, but Buddy don't play. And he on that shit like prize that. Prize picks? Oh, yeah, he'll go 90% on prize picks. And, sure. and, and we get all that. We get access to all that. For sure. So we can say we directly want parlay guard to send me my shit. For sure. Hey, y'all like hear that, buddy, man. Y'all tap in. Buddy helped me turn 5K into 50K in, like, literally, like, a month and a half. Like, just all his play. I, I just copied and pasted everything he said. Shit, nigga, I can see this room turning again, yeah. nigga. 5K to 50K? Yeah. Nigga, they ain't gonna, boy, they ain't gonna be, bro, I could just see us starting season three with the money counter on the goddamn desk. And that shit just, ding! That's what I like about sports betting, though, because... It's like with options, it's like, you know, like it's a learning curve to it. With Definitely. sports betting, it's not really a learning curve. Well, it is a learning curve. He's gonna mm -hmm. teach you the strategies, risk management, things like that, because that's important too, mm -hmm. you know, risk management. But yeah, it's a it's it's less of a, a learning curve. You can just copy and paste with sports right. betting. Yeah. And you can't bet with man, speaking of sports betting and stuff like that, I had to say this while you hit, man. And I was, uh, I wanted to tell Dom them. So we in Vegas, uh, this in July. Mm -hmm. I'm at the damn gambling table. We, uh, what hotel was that, Ryan? Uh, Resort World. We at Resort World. 
So it's so much going on. It's Kevin Hart weekend. We shooting Comic View. Um, NBA. Yeah, NBA Summer League out there. So, you know, everybody just mobbing through. I see the boy Ant-Man, you know what I'm saying? I definitely, I know he was busy, you know what I'm saying? He saw that Atlanta shit on me too. So long story short, I'm gambling. That's what I do. <laughs> so I'm playing blackjack. So, you know, when you're in a uh, casino, they have a max on your cards. Mm -hmm. So I done maxed out one. Um, so I get my Navy Federal card. I max out that as well. So <laughs> this ain't about me. This, this ain't about me. So I'm sitting at the table. I was like, I can't use the ATM, so I'm going to buy in with my card. Right. So they were like, no, nah, when it's maxed out like that. So I'm like, damn. So I'm going to walk to the room and try to figure some shit out because I'm trying to wait till the hours pass because, you know, the time difference. I was like, at 6 o'clock, I'm back. It's a new day. I can swipe again. Right. So I'm walking to my room. I see the boy Marcus Peters, cornerback. Yeah. Real nigga. Stop me, dap me up. He said, where you going? I was like, I'm finna go to the room, man. The ATM ain't letting me get no more money out the ATM. The nigga pulls out a stack of cash. Stack of cash. Thumbing through the shit. Gave me $700. Placed it in my hand. He was like, man, go gamble. Man, right then and there, the nigga came, became my first and favorite cornerback of all time. <laughs> so anything on prize picks that no. I could bet on with him, nigga, he's getting betted on. That's hard. Man, took the money. I went to the blackjack table and lost it all. <laughs> <laughs> This is a true ass story, but he a real nigga, bro. Yeah, he played for the Rams now, don't he? Uh, no, nah, I think he with the Raiders now. Is he? Raiders. No, nah, he he left the Raiders. Look up, look it up, Ryan. I trust you to look it up over that. I know who Marcus P. I know. I bro, he, he for the, you know he the one he who always talks shit. At one point he don't too, play for he? so many teams. He always yeah. talk shit about the beat a nigga ass and all that. Raiders. Yeah, he on the Raiders. Raiders, okay. So Raiders defense. Lock. <laughs> Lock. That was up. I'm picking them. But no, nah, man, we appreciate you giving that free game. So it is what's the uh ways that people could tap in and get straight to it so they could know how to uh um click the link in the description. Uh Nav, he has a uh an affiliation with uh Honey Drip. So yeah, click the link in the description. It's twenty dollars if you want to try it out. You have nothing to lose. It's a dub. We're gonna teach you how to sports bet. And we're gonna show you, and we're gonna literally hand pick. And spoon feed you. Nigga, you niggas so. lose twenty dollars anyway. Why not invest in yourself? Why not? Bro, cause I'm telling you one thing about this shit. You gonna have some good weeks and you're gonna have some bad weeks. But yeah. you don't want to have back to back to back to back bad weeks. Mm -hmm. And that's how last year was for me. <laughs> Boy, that shit was tough. Georgia cover, but sometimes it depends on the team. They'll start putting in third string and stuff like that. For example, uh, LSU playing Florida State. Florida State blowing them out. That was crazy. I didn't expect that. I, I didn't expect them to blow them out, but I did expect them uh, Florida State to win. But this is what I'm talking about. This is what people don't pay attention to. The game over. So Florida State put in third string cornerbacks, you know, DBs and stuff like that. Jane Daniels go down and score. It's second half bets. You done fucked up the over and under because you got these niggas out here. Them niggas looking confused. <laughs> and keep being confused. When I see you niggas in the street and you done fucked my money up, be confused then. Hey, yeah. Nate, hey, tell me before we leave, tell me a time somebody fucked your bet up. Like, 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 there was some dumb shit. Bro. You know what a lot of times, and I tell people this, uh, college basketball, I think, fucks my money up the most. Wow. Because college basketball, and I will say this, I might have the over or the under, or you might even have the point spread. College basketball, I think them the most idiotic niggas <laughs> in the world. Them niggas will file with 0. 0.004, <laughs> and you down 19. Nigga, you can't win. Let that motherfucking game go and get on the bus and try again next week. Bruh, so look. The first half, I think it was like 36-29. Low scoring game. I got the under. Mm. I'm just knowing it's a lock. Second half, the team 
the first the t- uh, top team, I think it was a Tennessee game, they take off. So there's no reason that this game should go over. Shit. Three minutes left, these niggas start filing. Now they doing one and one. So I'm like, all right, y'all, slow that shit down. Bruh, long story short, the motherfucker went over four points for no reason. And it's just because college players, they, they hungry. They got so much to prove. Nigga, do that on your own motherfucking time. Do that shit at practice. <laughs> if you down 19 points, the game over with. So stuff like that will mess up the spread. Uh, that free yeah. game for real. Yeah. College basketball is probably, that would be very unpredictable, especially during March Madness. You're going to lose some money. I don't think nobody. Oh, yeah. I don't think nobody could ever get that that thing right, huh? Hell no. Nah. And see, with college football, I would say they'll do this. Sometimes you might have the over or under, and a team could score. I don't like good sportsmanship. Sometimes, motherfucker, you on the eight yard line, start kneeling. No, bitch, go score. Yeah. I yeah. need that spread. Go score. And that's what sometimes people don't do. Mm. So sometimes I think every team need to reach out. The broken play. Tell us. Let us know. And we're going to let you know the spread and let it, let you know if we need you or not. You know what? We got to get the word out there. We got to yeah. work hand in hand with this honey that, that drip. Would. That would. That nah, would. No, no, no. Definitely. I appreciate you coming through, though. We definitely yeah. going to uh, we gonna lock in. We need it this year. We, sure. we, we, could, we could start our trial immediately. Real talk. So do you got one lock that you could give us for uh, this week? Off prize picks? Who you thinking? Oh, yeah, uh, Falcons, lock. Take the points. We're beating the Panthers. Is that with your heart, though? <laughs> Hell, no. Nah, it's the Falcons, but you know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm taking my Falcons. So what? what's the spread on that? You know the spread yet? I'm, I would say it can't be no more than four points. Okay. I go look at it, though. Falcons got to be favorite. I think so. Yeah, so yeah. You, you see them beating the Panthers at least by a touchdown. I think so. Falcons got a defense this year. Man, I appreciate you coming through, man. Yeah. Shout out, give them, give them your tag. Let them know where they can follow you at and stuff. Aristotle Investments, A R I S T O T L E underscore investments. If they can't spell that, they don't need to be following you. Nah, hell nah. Real shit. If Aristotle. they can't spell investments, you don't need to follow a nigga who can give you the game. Oh yeah, for sure. Man, appreciate you coming to Broken Play, man. Shout know out to Prize Pick. Shout out to Aristotle Investments, man. We'll be back. Yeah. Prize picks of the week time. Hey, this is one of the best segments we could ever do. And seeing that we coming off a win, because the last show we was on a win. So we're going to celebrate next week regardless, because we ain't celebrate our win. But I feel like it's going to be double trouble. I feel like we're going to go back to back around this motherfucker. I can feel it. Like, you know how you just got that, that sense? Mm-hmm. No. Look. All jokes aside, I think I want you to kick it off, Dad. Yeah. I'm um, going to take Aaron Rodgers. I'm going to take his rushing yards over 1.5 over. All right. Aaron Rodgers, 1.5 over. So this is what we're going to... We'll, this is going to be a learning curve for all of us this week. We'll find out how that worked with the sacks, too. You see what I'm saying? Because yeah. I don't know if that take off if he gets sacked. Like, say if he done ran for five yards and he gets sacked for seven. So I don't know if that, you know what I'm saying? So we'll see that this this week. Right. But that's what you're taking right now. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers won't all right. Over. What you got, Aristotle? I definitely got Travis Hunter go over 63 yards against Sorry, at Nebraska. Travis Hunter, 63 and a half receiving yards. For sure. Yeah. Man, but I don't know after that first game they're going to be doubling that nigga. And you know what? I still like it. If them sorry ass niggas try to double, he going to get 163. They ain't going to double, but they want to see if it's a fluke. Oh, shit. They going to find out the hard way. Yeah. And with you saying that, it's <laughs> 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 your door sandals. Nah, what you got, dog? <laughs> right on time. Over 297. Over 297, should do it. Ryan, who you got? Baker Mayfield, five and a half rushing yards over. 
And that's what we not gonna do. If you white, you gotta pick a black player. You not finna come in here and pick Baker no. Mayfield, nigga. No. We all garbage bouncers. He gonna pick Baker Mayfield. That nigga name has never been said on this shit. <laughs> Just our look. All right, fuck it. Baker Mayfield, nigga. What? You got your one and done. We're going to pick you. Greg, who you got? I like Austin Eckler to score. He with the uh, Chargers, right? Yeah. Okay, Austin Eckler. Yvette, you been looking? No. Who you? It's okay. I'm going to go with our expert. Who? Who? Oh, shit, I thought you were talking about me. <laughs> I, like, I said, shit, I ain't saying shit yet. Uh, I'm going to switch up. We'll see. We got, we got two experts. All right, I'm going to keep it college football. I'm going to go Oregon State. Uh, DJ Ugali. Ugalali. DJ U. I'm taking him. To get over 220 yards. I feel like that should be easy. Who they playing? Who, who that is they playing? Who are that? Yeah, that's why I say he can't get that over them. I never been with that nigga again. Because that ain't Colorado. What's CD? UCD? You see? Oh, nigga, you better, nigga, you better get, nigga, you better have 720 yards against them niggas. So that's it. What? How many picks total that was, that? Oh, uh, no, six. Did you put it? Hey, did you uh, yeah, submit I it? I got them, uh, Yeah. How, how much we going for, dumb? This, this that account. <laughs> I say we do 100. 100. That should bring us back 2,500. It's locked. It's locked. Y'all clap it up and, and send them positive energy. By the time you niggas see this, we'll be done hit. Man, next week. Next week, uh, we will be celebrating our win for week 10. Ba, 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 ba. We got 1942 in the building. Broken players in the motherfucking building. We got hot wings. One bottle, two bottles. Oh, we got the Fiji water. Be ready. Aristotle, uh, hopefully your investments could help us do a lot of the, more of that this season. Oh, yeah. Shout out and uh, say it one more time before we wrap up out of here. Oh, who I am? No, uh, the, uh, how, how they could get in touch with you. Oh, yeah. Make sure y'all tap in Honey Drip Network on Instagram. Uh -huh. All right, honeydripnetwork.com is the website. All right, $20 trial for sports betting. We'll teach you how to use prize picks. We'll teach you the right risk management. And we'll educate you on sports betting. And we have admins, and you can ask them anything. All right, if you need help with sports betting, if you need help with risk management, anything, they'll help you out. $20, check the link in the description. Y'all know what's going on. Hey, and just like, don't think no $20 done bought you a slave, nigga. Them niggas sleep too. Don't be DMing <laughs> niggas at no 4 in the morning. Hey, wake your ass up, nigga. Hey, none of that. <laughs> Hey, you know how niggas yeah. be when niggas don't oh, spend. Yeah. Man, I don't spend money with the nigga. The nigga won't even answer the phone, nigga. <laughs> For sure. Make sure the games is on before you just be asking questions. For sure. So, so, but y'all do put out the bets in time enough for a nigga to for put sure. it in, though. We take and we put up our money and we tell you how no, much No, I'm saying, like, you, it ain't no, no last minute, like, the game finna start at 12 and y'all send it out at 11.58. Nah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Because that's how my cousin do the shit. <laughs> and I got a rush and all that shit. So with that said, man, appreciate you coming through. I hope you fuck with the new yeah. set. Don't be oh, a stranger, yeah. bro. You can push up anytime and get... Because we going to want you to push up after this week anyway. Let's Especially if you was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you right, nigga, you got to push up and drink some 42 with her. You drink? I get it. I, I drink with y'all. You feel me? Like, yeah, like that nigga special had a, occasion. You done had a little trouble in your life. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell when a nigga just got a rehab. That nigga said, I, I drink with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for sure, man. Appreciate you, man. Aristotle's yeah. family, man. And when yeah. we come back, we got a special.